Rheumatoid arthritis, or RA, is an inflammatory autoimmune disease that most commonly affects the joints of the hands, wrists, shoulders, elbows, knees, ankles, and feet. Keep on watching if you want to know what the 2021 practice guideline recommends. <laughs> Check out our online courses now. The link is in the video description. Peter et al. published this practice guideline for physical therapists to manage patients with RA. Prevalence is estimated between 0.3% and 1%. Over the years, the medical world made great leaps in treating these diseases early on. This can inhibit disease progression and thus lower disability. But where do we fit into this? First of all, we should start a thorough conversation with the patient to evaluate general health, disease status with current and previous treatment, and general issues related to the disease such as pain, functional difficulties, or fatigue. Let's get into some of these questions. You try to evaluate the need for assistance and the expectations regarding treatment, so ask about this. When this info is settled, you can get into the specifics a bit more. Which joints hurt? How much and does it progress during the day? Ask thoroughly about the nature of the pain. There might be inexplicable inflammatory symptoms that require further medical investigation. Aside from pain, joints can present with subjective stiffness, range of motion deficits and or swelling. Ask about strength and endurance deficits in affected joints. People with RA are at an increased risk of skin problems, fatigue, and cardiovascular diseases. As you can probably tell, it's a systemic disease that is not limited to the joints alone. Check the skin, blood pressure, and ask about energy levels. Are they a smoker or overweight or have other comorbidities? You should know this. Get a full picture. They might also present with atlantoaxial instability as a consequence of the disease. Ask if they experience sandy hands, twitching legs, unexplained muscle weakness, or balance problems. If your patient fits the profile, a referral is needed. Obviously, you should ask about general red flags like weight loss, fever, etc. Now, let's get into activities. Ask if your patient experiences any problems with turning or getting up from bed, self-care, walking, picking up items writing, eating, drinking, transportation, and sexual activities. Try to get a feeling of how much your patient actually moves during the week and if he or she meets the physical activity guidelines. Let's not neglect participation. Ask about the family situation to figure out how much they might have on their plate every day. Does your patient live alone? Have kids to take care of? How about their work? Are there any issues there? And what about leisure activities? A bit of a spoiler alert, but these patients should exercise as a treatment. So asking about their views on exercise, expectations and coping strategies in flare-ups is paramount. There are numerous more questions to consider, but these are pretty much the most important ones. To get more information, you can read the open access full text. So you wrap up your conversation with the patient. A clinical exam is now in order and there are quite a bit of relevant points to cover. Are there any visibly swollen joints? Are there any changes in the zones where the patient reports problems? If your patients have had RA for quite some time, there might be joint deformities present. So look for those as well. Palpate the joints to check for temperature changes and ask the patient if it is painful. Determine active range of motion in all joints and let the patient perform a few functional tasks to assess execution, possible restrictions, compensations, etc. If you notice any restrictions, examine the joints passively as well. Then to finish up, you check muscle strength, endurance and length, assess balance, proprioception, sensitivity, hand function, aerobic capacity, gait, quality of movement and specific activities that are reported to be affected by the patient. That's it for this video. If you want to see how to treat these patients, you can check out Alan's video about that in the upper right corner and our video on hand exercises for rheumatoid arthritis. I am Max for Physiotutors and I will see you in another video. Bye.